Hello everyone, my name is Sugar and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to be presentable in this video and to have somewhat good lighting and all of that jazz because this video might draw some new people to my channel, at least people to whom songs I am reacting to today or tonight or this morning. It's half 4 a.m. I don't know which part of the day it is. As I said, it's half 4, I can't sleep, I'm kind in pain and I want to listen to some new music. And not looking presentable is like the brand of this channel anyway. Today, tonight, this morning, I'm going to react to your favorite songs of all time. I asked for your favorite songs on my bookstagram, on my personal Instagram and on Kat's Compisar Facebook group, which is, if you don't know, but I doubt it, it is a Facebook group made by Katrin Band and it is for all the people that watch her videos and all the people there are so helpful so I decided to turn to them to help me with this video and they didn't fail me so I randomly picked seven songs for this video because there was way too many songs to be reacted to in one video so expect like five more videos on this topic I have those songs in my silly notebook I have highlighted them in pink so I know to which songs I'm going to react and random.org picked numbers 6, 17, 19, 22, 33, 33 and 41 now I'm going to get my laptop and finally start reacting. So I moved aside so you can see the music video here. I am going to listen to two minutes of every song so every song has equal chances. This is a method I've seen on a channel of reacting, like reaction YouTuber, however you call it. I think his name is Brian Velez. Not sure about the surname though. So the first song is submitted by a person whom I know from the internet for a really long time. Her name is Nada and she submitted Marcy's song, I guess by John Hawkes. If that's not it, sorry. So let's hear the two minutes of this song. I'm going to move a little bit. I think it's, I think that this is Good. Also, I'm looking down at my laptop. Okay, acoustic guitar. I like this. She's just a picture. His way of singing is just a picture. It's kind of reason, reason, reason it is so small. I hope that's not offensive to say. The smile so inviting and a body so tall. I like it. She, she's just a picture. Just a picture. That's all. Stand there, stand there with your nightshade. Her dripping, dripping down your hand. Sorry, I'm you silent. Ask me, I'm listening to the Ask me about about the lyrics. Lyrics. Lady, 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 she understands. It's a dream for the future, the water for the sand, the strangeness. 
darkness is wandering too many. I don't know why. Calling lines. This reminds me of some like Serbian ex Yugoslavian music groups. But better. It's really calming. That's it. So that's the first song. I'm not sure if this is the right one. I'm searching for Marcy's song and this is the only one that pops up. Oh, there is Jackson C. Frank, Marcy's song. So I hope that's not it. Well, it's the same song, but Definitely different type of singing. Jackson C. Frank singing reminds me of Miley Cyrus singing Jolene by Dolly Parton. So I'm sorry if I reacted to the wrong version, but I will uh, listen to the other version definitely. The second bo book, the second song I'm going to react to is Dire Straits Sultans of Swing. I listened to Dire Straits quite a lot and I'm still not sure if I heard this song. I'm really bad with song titles. This is the first Dire Straits song that pops up on YouTube, so I guess I heard it. And it's submitted by my friend whose Instagram name is jazz underscore 442. Let's go! It really has that late 70s vibe. Case here. It's like I don't know. It reminds me of theater for some reason. Not my favorite Dashwood song, I must admit, but it is kind of catchy. That's it. So, as I said, this is really not my favorite Dire Straits song. I'm more the type for like Heavy Fuel, which is more melodic, I'd say. But also, Heavy Fuel is like from 1990 or like 1991. So, there is a big difference between those two. I remind you that I'm not a music expert, that I can't really tell you a lot about the way the songs are made or they sound. I really can tell you if I like it or not and why I like it or not. So I hope that's enough for you. Next one is submitted by my friend Antonio. Antonio! Antonio, we say here Antonio, and the song is Angel Witch, I guess by the Angel Witch. As far as I know, 
Angel Witch is like death metal, speed metal. What is Angel Witch? Because I was listening to a lot of death metal in high school, but that's not really my music taste anymore. I still listen to metal, but not that type of metal. And Tony is really keen to death and speed metal and fresh metal and yeah. I'm going to see if there is a music video, if there is not, then we are just looking at the picture. There is Angel Witch promo video, so I'm going to play that one. Okay. I like it. Although I'm not really sure if I ever heard this one. I love this. Fuck me, I know this song. <laughs> That's what I like it. I like it because I was at some period of time listening to it like 24-7 Yes! <laughs> Thank you Tony and sorry for doubting and thinking that you're going to screw me over and send me some brutal lead metal. The essence of 80s. Men with bangs. And they're looking fine. I remember Bruce Dickinson with bangs. Yeah, so I totally forgot about how this band sounds and what this song really is and expected some screaming and brutal death metal and I really don't know how I managed to forget about this song because as I said at like high school I was listening to it 24-7 I have these periods when I get one song stuck in my head and I'm listening it over and over again for months. Only that one song. And this song was that song. <laughs> so that was song number three. We are now heading to a choice by That Yellow Library. That was a submission on my Bookstagram profile and I am going to Put the name of the song and the band here. Also, uh, Dead Yellow Library told me which version of the music video to watch because he likes it better. I found the recommended video so we can start. Okay. I don't know who Kaleo or Kaleo is, honestly. I see that this is probably Icelandic. I like it. Oh. 
kind of want to know what they are singing about, but I don't mind listening to foreign languages. I love it. Is this Icelandic? I think it is. Well, all the names of the actors are Icelandic. Why I imagine that Icelandic sounds different than this? That's it. Uh, first of all, I really like the music video. It's beautifully shot. And I can see that I didn't watch the interesting part. So I really want to watch it whole. I was thinking when I saw the title that it is Icelandic, but I don't know why it doesn't sound Icelandic to me. and. How could it even sound Icelandic to me if I don't know Icelandic? And now I realize that I haven't been hearing Icelandic a lot. So I thought it would be somewhat more similar to like Swedish and the Norwegian. But I don't hear any any similar but I don't hear any similarities, maybe because it's singing, but I don't know. I really like it, the song is very calming, very... I don't know how to describe it, but I think that no matter what type of music do you like, this song should be the one you do like. Um, it's really calming, I can imagine myself like listening to it while I'm reading, although I don't do that a lot, but I think it would be possible because um, it is calming, it is slow, and it's in a foreign language that I don't understand, so it won't interfere with my reading. The next song is Somewhere I Belong by Linkin Park. I must say, <laughs> that I really don't like Linkin Park. Uh, the, the only songs that I can kinda listen to, not willingly, but that I don't hate completely, are uh, New Divide. I think it's called New Divide. That one from like Transformers or something like that. Uh, numb because it was everywhere when I was a kid and you couldn't escape it so I get, got used to it and also now I kind of can listen to the end because it's everywhere now especially since Chester passed away I'm not sure that I heard this song so let me see, also this song is recommended on Cat Compisar's Facebook group and it's recommended by Justine. Justine, I'm really sorry, I don't like the band who made your favorite song of all time, but we'll see, maybe I don't totally hate this song, but maybe I do. Let's go! Is this a painting like... Trying to be Salvador Dali's elephants? Referencing it? I think this is a classic start to Linkin Park song. Of course, yeah. I always kind of like the music and then they start singing.
Yep. That's it. I really don't like rapping part in their songs. Chester has cool voice, but this part here, I'm not digging it. I really don't like that that rapping part. They are so unnecessary. Yeah. Rapping is the huge part of this song. I realize that now. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Uh, don't mind the instrumental, it's catchy, it's pulling me to want to handbang to it. I can get used to the vocals, but then as I'm starting to get used to it, the rapping part interrupts it. So I really, really can't see this song. Nam and The End and New Divide are more melodic and more i don't know they have something this one doesn't so sorry one more time justine but not my cup of tea the next song is dead head by devon townsend project i'm actually trying to think about if i've seen them live or if i should see them live but didn't at the end i really don't know but let's hear the dead head and i think that uh, mariano left the live version in the comments on that's compisar group so let's hear the live okay Crowd is responsive. We don't see that here often. This sounds familiar, really familiar. This is live at Royal Albert Hall, by the way. Yeah. I think I saw this man live, but I'm not sure. I saw so many bands live over the years. The sound is really good here. Although it's live, it sounds perfect. I really like the atmospheric vibe of Devin Townsend. Can I call it a bit stoner? I'm not sure. But I have that feel from it. That's it. So vocals start around third minute. We didn't manage to listen to them, but honestly, I don't need them. The music is so, I don't know, so atmospheric. It has that stoner vibe that I love. I could listen to it without vocals because it's so complex. This really is my cup of tea. 
and they really need to figure out if I've seen this man live because I think I did but I'm not sure this is really something I would listen to I listened to them earlier I haven't heard this song in a long time and I don't listen to Devin Townsend really that often but when I do I get this awesome feeling so yeah thank you Mariano for submitting this song and the next one which is the last one the one that I absolutely adore it is Gorillaz Clint Eastwood I'm probably going to just dance to it and try not to sing it because I'm in front of the camera and I'm going to talk about it later let's listen to it I love the animation. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. Sorry, this is not boring. I'm just tired. <laughs> Love this song. This is the song of my childhood. This is good vibes for me. You know, like alternative songs. And that's it! I love this song, as you could see. I'm not sure in which year this was released. I'm just going to check it out. It's released in 2001. I actually think I was listening to it on like repeat at that time. When this song came out, it was all over the TV and every time I was in front of the TV like changing TV programs and searching for something to watch and like I stumbled on this song I needed to listen to it same goes for when my dad or mom or sister were looking for something to watch if they stumble upon this song they needed to let me listen to it from the beginning till the end or from the point we found it on TV until the end so I really really like this song I'm not sure if I said who submitted this this is submitted by Laura that's how we pronounce that name here sorry if that's not how you pronounce that name I would say by her last name that she's Greek so I hope it's pronounced Laura and that would be it for this first part of the video I really had fun making it as I said I'm not a professional I'm not a musician I just can say if I love a song or not and why and I think that that's a point of a reaction I would like to thank to 45 people who submitted more than 45 songs I hope that you really want to see another video like this one because I am going to make more of these videos because I have fun making them and that's the point of me having a YouTube channel having fun so if your favorite song of all time 
that you submitted didn't manage to be in this video, don't worry because it will be in one of the next ones because I would like to react to all the songs I've got or at least to all the people because some people submitted like five songs and I think that's not fair so I picked one usually one that I haven't heard until the next time see ya